Hello everyone, in this video we are going to create Volvo excavator cabin. So here I already have created the part and here I am going to show you its feature and sketch which I used to create a cabin used in Volvo excavator. Here, so let's begin with the sketch. First of all, we need to create a sketch here. So here I am going to show you its dimension and its feature. So this sketch is basically created with the help of line command. So select the line command and draw a line from the region. And defining the length which is 2883.50 mm. Continue with the line command draw a perpendicular line which is 1545 mm. And again draw a line at an angle having a length of 1907 and defining the angle between these two lines which is 184.3032 degree continue with the line command again draw a straight line which is 228 mm the next line is 1075.50 mm which is perpendicular to this line and again draw a line here which is 716.50 mm again draw a line that's when it's dimension and draw this sketch with this line after defining the sketch we need to extrude it base so just click on feature and select extrude both or base command and extruded base up to 883 mm now rolling downward this feature Here we again need to extrude both one of the portion so choose this one face and right click and select sketch and going to create a sketch here with the help of line command so simply here you need to draw a line and defining the distance this line from the origin which is 2963.50 mm and draw a straight line again which is 1245 mm and draw a line which is 833 and define the angle between these two lines which is 77.15 degree and close the sketch with this help of line command after that click on feature and select extrude both again and extrude it both in the inward direction up to 881 mm and click ok yeah, again we need to extrude both so rolling the feature downward direction and click on this face and keep this face in normal position and begin with this sketch which is drawn with the help of line command first of all draw a line and defining the distance of the line from the origin which is 86 mm and defining the distance between this line and the edge of the face which is 32.50 and defining the overall length of this line which is 2558.50 mm and draw a perpendicular line from this point which is 1000 170 mm and in the in this direction again draw a straight line it's showing you its dimension here continue with this line command again draw a line which is 773.25 and draw a straight line in the upper direction which is 97.50 mm and close these two points with the help of line command corner rectangle 
to make these sketches or defining the length and the width which is 642.50 and the width is 883.50 mm now defining its distance from the edge which is 51.50 mm and after that we need to define its distance from the upper line so again click on smart dimension and define its distance between these two lines is 32.50 mm so continue in the downward direction again draw a rectangle defining its distance from the edge and this is same as the previous one 51.50 mm now defining its length which is 906 mm and its width is as same in the previous one 833.50 mm again a rectangle in the same direction which is 1061 mm and defining its width which is 835.25 which is less than the previous one and defining the distance between both these two rectangles is 32.50 mm continue with the rectangle command again draw a rectangle here its width is 999.50 mm and its total length is 1581 mm click ok now defining the distance between the upper line and the rectangle line which is 130 mm and defining the width here from this rectangle and this is 32.50 mm click ok again draw a rectangle here and defining its length and width 888.50 mm and having width is 761.50 defining the distance between both these two rectangles which is 33 mm so now our sketch is fully defined after that we need to click on features and select extrude both command and extrude it both in the upper direction up to 45 mm and click ok after extruding both we need to apply fillet on some edges so select fillet command and apply a fillet on this one edge having radius values 50 mm select the end and click ok after that we again need to extrude both so rolling downward the features we here again create a sketch defining its length and width which is 1135 mm and having width of 761.50 or defining its distance from the edge of the previous rectangle is 32.50 and width from this side click on line and select edge which is 33 mm Now click on feature and again select extrude bows and extrude it bows up to 74 mm and click OK. Now we are going to apply chamfer so click on here and here you can see the option chamfer now we are going to apply chamfer on this extrude base 
so select the upper edge and enter distance is 29 mm and angle is 75 degree and click ok you can see the changes same repeating the chamfer command again select the edge and enter distance 29 mm and degree is 75 mm and click ok now here we are going to again extrude bows so select this face and keep the face in normal position and select here this corner rectangle or center rectangle and draw a rectangle on this face now defining the distance of the rectangle edge from the origin is 500 to 859.25 Now defining its width from the edge, which is 65 mm. Now defining the length and the width of this rectangle. So defining its length is 1752.75. And defining its width now, which is 1105 mm. To click OK. After that, click on feature and select extrude both again. and extruding it goes up to 197 mm and apply a draft which is 35 mm in inward direction and click ok now we again need to draw a sketch select the face and keep this face in normal position again and again select corner rectangle and draw rectangle here now defining the distance of the rectangle from the origin which is 1120.25 mm and defining its width from this edge which is 912.50 mm now defining the length and the width of the rectangle which is 630 mm and defining the width which is 468 mm now again click on feature and select extrude both and extrude both this sketch up to 168.50 mm and enter degree and draft which is inward direction having 20 degree now click ok so then we again need to extrude both So click on face and select circle command and draw a circle defining the diameter of the circle which is 499 mm now defining the dimension from the edge which is 649.25 and with from this point which is 260 mm now the sketch is fully defined and click on feature and select extrude both again and extrude it both up to 72.50 mm in the upper direction and click ok continue with the sketch command here again draw a circle select the face and select circle command and again draw circle defining the diameter of circle which is 385.50 now defining the distance between both these two center point of the circle which is 403.50 mm now defining its distance from the edge side which is 245.75 click on center point of the circle and select the edge and defining its length from the edge which is 206 mm now the sketch is fully defined 
click on Stood boss and accelerate boss in the upward direction up to 32.50 mm. Continue with the extrude boss command. There we again need to draw a circle. Keep the face in the normal position. You just need to click on the previous face of the circle and click on sketch and select circle command and draw a circle. And defining the diameter of the circle which is 140 mm now defining its distance from the edge which is 242.12 mm and click on the center point and select the edge are defining its distance which is 302.80 mm after that click on edge to bows and extrude it both up to a distance of 135 mm and click ok here we again select this face and click on sketch and again draw a rectangle now defining the length and the width of this rectangle which is 436.50 mm now defining its width which is 232 mm now defining its distance from this edge so select point and select edge which is 105 mm again select the line of the rectangle and select the edge of the body and defining its width which is 99 mm and click on feature and extrude it goes up to 38 mm here we again need to extrude goes so select this face and click on sketch and draw a right circle here now defining the diameter of the circle which is 140 mm and this circle is drawn in the center of the rectangle now defining the distance from the center point to the edge is 86.50 mm now the sketch is fully defined and click on feature and select extrude bows and extrude it bows up to 135 mm here we need to apply extrude cut So here we simply draw a rough sketch with the help of line command covering the all points and select extrude cut and extrude it cut up to a distance of 135 mm. Now continue with the extrude base command. Here we again draw a sketch. So for this, select the face and select rectangle and draw a rectangle first of all. Now defining the length and the width of the rectangle, which is 483.50 mm, and defining the total width. Of this line is 259.00. Now select construction line and draw a construction line from the center point of the rectangle and draw a straight line defining this distance from the edge of the rectangle is 20 mm and total gap is 40 mm. Same in this direction. Now defining this distance from the edge, which is 384.75, and extrude it goes. So for this, 
click on teacher and again select extrude bose and extruded bose up to 289.50 mm in the upward direction again we need to apply extrude cut so select the upper face and select rectangle command and draw rectangle at the center of this extrude base so now defining the length is 443.50 mm and defining its width is 40 mm now click on feature and select extrude cut and extrude it cut in the downward direction up to 20 mm now here we need to create a plane so click on reference geometry and select the plane so for this we need to select first reference so here we select the first reference is face and entering the distance is 1682 mm in the upper direction and create a new plane here after that here we create two sketches so select the downward face and draw a sketch here with the help of rectangle command now defining the length and the width of this rectangle which is 1605 mm and defining its width is 1075 mm and defining the gap between the this set and rectangle is 30 mm now exit from this sketch and select the plane which I have created and going to draw a sketch on this selecting this plane and again select rectangle command and draw a rectangle here having length is 1468.50 mm and defining its width which is 1075.50 mm and now defining the distance between the rectangle and the edge of the face which is 30 mm now click ok and exit from the sketch command after that click on feature and select loft base command in the loft base you need to select one page, one sketch and second one sketch and I am going to show you so here we select sketch number 16 and 17 you can check it sketch number 16 and sketch number 17 and locked it base and here a new profile is created so continue with the sketch command here we going to apply split line feature for this here we are going to create a sketch so select this face and click on rectangle and draw a corner rectangle now defining the width of this rectangle is 750 mm and defining total length as 1430 mm after that select fillet and apply fillet on its four corner having radius value 60 mm and defining its length from the edge which is 92.53 and distance from the edge which is 162.75 after that we are going to apply the command split line so you can search here type split line you can see the options like split line in split line command we need to select selection in selection we select the sketch and after that we select the face click ok the 
you can see a uh, partition is created on this face after that click on shell and we are going to shell this body on this shell command select this face and enter thickness is 500 you can here see the partial preview click ok Here we again need to extrude bows on the top face select this face and draw a rectangle on the top side now defining the length and the width of this rectangle as 1500 to mm and defining the width now which is 1075 mm made this line collinear with the this body edge and select extrude bows and extrude it bows up to 65 mm in upward direction continue with the sketch command again Now we are going to apply extrude cut. So for this, we select this face and going to draw sketch here. So select rectangle command and draw a rectangle here. Now defining this total length is 1000 mm. So that defining its width, which is 350 mm. Now here I am going to apply fillet on its edges. Having radius value is 43.40 mm. Now draw a line. Now defining the length and width of this sketch. This is similar to 1000 mm. Here we apply radius on the corner. Which is 43.40 mm. Now defining its width from this point to this point is 827.35 mm. And in the upward direction is 753.24 mm. First of all, we need to create this sketch. With the help of line 1, so draw a line which is 753.24 and having total length is 1000 mm and in down direction direction is 827.35. After completing a box with the help of line command, select the fillet command and apply fillet on the four edges having radius value is 43.40 and select feature and select extrude cut command and extrude cut through all the body continue with the sketch command again here we again need to apply extrude cut so for this select this one piece and draw a rectangle and defining the total length is 750 mm after that defining its width which is 420 mm now defining this distance from the top edge, select the edge and select the line which is 157.23 mm and defining its width from this edge which is 162.75. After that click on feature and select extrude cut and extrude it cut and through all or blind up to a distance of 6 or 7 mm because the thickness of this wall is 5 mm. After that we need to apply extrude bows on this face. So continue with the rectangle command. We will draw a rectangle having length is 524 mm or defining the width which is 360 mm. Now defining its distance from the origin. And select the point also which is 304.50 mm 
and make the rectangle collinear with this edge. After that, click on Feature and select Extrude Bows and extruded bows up to distance of 206.00 in the above direction. After that, again we apply split on this face. Again, draw a rectangle which is 1000 mm in length and defining its width from the edge is 69.50 and from the upper side is 38.50 now apply the fillet on the four edges which is having value of 35 mm radius now defining the total width of this angle is 467.50 and select split command and select face and catch and split it on this face After that we apply extrude cut on this face. So select face and going to draw a sketch on this. So here you can see that a number of circles are drawn. So first of all we simply need to draw a circle having radius uh, sorry having diameter 40 mm. Now defining its length from the edge is 30 mm and 30 mm. After that select linear pattern and linear pattern and select the circle and the direction in which you want to pattern the circle. So select the edge and pattern in, in both these two direction having total radius is sorry total circle of 22 in the this one direction and in this in this one direction is 10. So click on linear pattern and select circle and select the axis the reference is this line and enter 22 mm sorry 22 and select this line and enter 10 mm after entering that click on feature and select extrude cut and extrude it cut these all circles up to a distance of 2 mm in blind downward direction and click ok you can check it on this so continue with the sketch command here we again extrude bows from of rectangles with the help of line command First of all, draw the rectangle. Now defining its length and width. Click on Smart Dimension and defining their length and width. Now defining this distance from this edge. So select the end point and the line, which is 25 mm. And from the lower side, select line and edge which is 25 mm continue with the rectangle command again draw rectangle defining its length is width is 810 mm or defining its length it is 833 now defining the gap between these two rectangles is 50 mm again draw a rectangle at the distance of 10 mm from the previous one rectangle now defining its width is 832.50 mm and its total length is 833.00 mm enter with the line command again draw line at the distance of 10 mm and draw a straight line having length of 1100.43 mm Again, draw a line in the downward direction where it is 1200.52. Now, meet these two points with the line command having total length of 833.00. After completing this sketch, click on feature and select extrude bows again. 
and extrude it both in the black direction in the outward side up to 10 mm and click ok here we need to again extrude cut Keep this sketch in normal position and here we need to apply extrude cut. So select this face and draw a sketch here with the help of line command or defining the length between the, both these two points which is 1198.50 mm and in the inward direction. Sorry, this arrow in the Dimensions. I'm going to delete it. Select this point and this point. Now defining the distance between both these two points is 1231, and in the inside direction is 1183.50 mm. Now draw a straight line. And the outward side which is 883 and the inside which is 868 mm and now with the line command again draw a straight line to perpendicular the previous line which is 100 sorry 1231 and the inside direction the length of this line is 1183.50 mm. Now made these lines with the help of line command. Click continue with the line command and made these two points. Now select extrude cut. Here we select from face or surface so here we select this face and select the line up to 3 mm and click ok and you can see the changes on this face which is depth having is 3 mm continue with the sketch command again we need to apply extrude cut on the upper side of the cabin again draw rectangle now defining the width and the length of this rectangle so click on smart dimension and select total length width is 450 mm and defining its total length which is 667 mm now apply fillet on the edges now defining the radius value is 40 mm. Now defining its distance from the edge, which is 157 mm. And from the outer side, which is 204.25 mm. And F to bit cut, set up to surface or up to 6 or 7 mm. Select up to surface and Select like this face and extrude it cut in the downward direction. After that, we need to apply fillets. So select fillet command. And select the faces on which you want to apply fillets. So select face 1. You can check here. I am going to show you. Select this face. After select the upper face, the corner side, after that this face, and after that we need to select this face. We have only left the downward face and select all the faces and apply a radius of 40 mm and click OK.
change and arrow here you call to manipulate apply with the help of a single command you can see the changes whatever fillet is applied on the all edges of this face you can apply fillet by selecting one by one edges or you can select all the face and apply fillet as same repeating the command here we are going to apply fillet on the whole body so select all the faces on which you want to apply the fillet there are number of faces I have selected you can see in the blue color the outer one faces are selected to here and then the upward direction select all these faces which are shown you in the blue color applying a radius of 40 uh, sorry 10 mm and click ok you can see the fillet applied on the all faces having radius values 10 mm because it's sort method to apply fillet if you are going to select edges one by one the file is become too heavy continue with this sketch command here we again need to extrude both so select this face and select line command and draw a straight line It is 817.19 mm. Select this phase and going to start sketch here. Again, draw a line which is 110 mm. Defining its width is 143.50. And click OK and make these all points. Now defining its distance from this edge, which is 245.50 mm, and click OK. After that, select extrude both command and extrude it both up to 95 mm. Now here again we want to create another plane so click on reference geometry and select plane so first option place we choose this face and create a new plane and in this for second reference we select this one face and the mid plane is created on both these two faces and click ok so now new plane is created here now we are going to mirror so here we are going to mirror this extrude face with the reference of this plane so select mirror command and in the feature you need to select extrude base select and with uh, plane it with the reference of plane 2 you can check it in the mirror command in the case you select plane 2 and select feature extrude both and mirror it about this plane click ok after that we are going to apply extrude cut on this face So then check a number of blocks are created here these are basically a uh, ventilation or for the air circulation in the cabin so you can roughly draw it or you can also create it with the help of block command you can check here i have created block here so you can simply draw it with the help of line command also you can draw a simple a rectangle I am going to show you it with the help of my dimension. You can simply draw a rectangle and after that select line command and draw a line. 
but it seems a matter there as you form the sketch. Yeah, I'm going to tell you you can simply draw a rectangle and select line command and first of all draw a line and after that click on pattern and pattern it in this direction select preference line and pattern it and again draw a line and pattern it in downward direction and after that select extrude cut and apply extrude cut up to a distance of 2 mm in this direction and click OK. So repeating this feature it will take some time because the file is becoming too heavy. You can simply draw these all sketches with the help of rectangle command or with the help of line command. You can check here on this phase as we tell you that you can draw it with the help of rectangle command or line command and apply extrude cut in the downward direction up to 2 mm. These are showing the ventilation area. Or the machinery in cabin. So again, we are going to apply extrude cut. So holding down was the feature and apply extrude cut. Uh, same again, repeating the rectangle command and draw a line and making blocks with the help of linear pattern and extruded cut deep to a mem in this direction so here we are going to split some faces of the cabin so I am going to show you First of all, here we create a sketch. I'm going to show you it roughly because it will take too much time to create the sketch. You can draw a sketch on the center plane. defining this total length and width let me show you why all the dimensions first of all here I am going to delete all the dimension of the sketch now continue with this smart dimension first of all draw a straight line defining its total length is 1823.5 before now draw a line in the upper direction which is 200 mm now defining the degree between these two lines click on first line and second line which is 102.85 degree and again draw a straight line which is 200 mm and made these two points with the help of line command here similarly again draw a rectangle on defining the total length and width so click on smart dimension and defining its length and width and click ok after that select line and select center line and draw a line here which is 3168.76 continue with the center line or construction line draw a line in downward direction which is 350 mm now defining the angle between both these two lines which is 245.7 degree
and draw a line here again which is 512.50 and the straight line which is 282 mm now defining the angle between these two construction lines which is 114.3 degree and draw a straight line now defining the straight length of this line which is 2840.68 now meet these two points with the help of construction line now this sketch is fully defined after that type here split command in command and search for split line command and select sketch after that we need to select faces so select the faces one by one first face second face third face and fourth face select this one only and select all the faces and apply spread command add the sketch Just click on sketch and select show and add the sketch continue with the spread command same as in this direction again draw a sketch and spread it on these faces and we going to show you here now here i am writing down the company name which is volvo and its model is ec650 you can write it down with the help of text so simply draw a construction line and select text here and type volvo or anything else which you want to, to apply and select split command and split it as rolling down word you can see the changes in the cabin here we are going to create mirror on the cabin so just click on the face and select sketch or you can simply create the sketch on these faces with the help of convert entities so just here we need to select the face and select convert entities and select the edges which you want to extrude both after selecting the edges click on feature and select extrude both and extrude it both up to a distance of 10 mm all the mirror are drawn in the same way again click on face and select sketch after that select convert entities and select the edges one by one and this sketch uh, 3d sketch is created here after that select feature and select text to both and extrude it both in the direction in word and to a thickness of 10 mm so fit this one okay yes So now our cabin using wall excavator is almost done. You can see it. You can also apply appearances as per your choice. So this is all about the cabin using wall excavator. So continue with the next part for the next video. Thanks for watching the video. Oh, 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 oh,